Uh, All right, looks like both players have kept their openers. Read on the play, Badlands pass. I'm going to grab a... And I'm going to attempt to pass a delighted half Odawara comes in, pass. Him to Turok. This should be interesting. You like to roll for it, or you want to just do it the old-fashioned way? You can just pick. Save time. One or two. Mox Opal and Sai Master Thopterus are discarded to him to Turok. Nice Ice Age Swamp. Patchwork Automaton, Lotus Petal Trigger. Three three automaton now. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Come on, I guess I'll just hit you for one. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not used to like attacking with this thing, but I guess I should. Yeah. I definitely want to see that rather than changing. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're like, yeah. It's, it's very happy to see that. Um, uh, Reed has the opportunity to bolt it and pay Ward, potentially. Urza's Saga could be a uh, problem for the coming turns, though. And if... Okay, Wasteland on Urza's Saga. Patchwork Automaton lives. And now Patchwork may be out of reach to eliminate. See, the sign on doesn't trigger Automaton, but... No bowmaster, no bowmaster. Good call out by Roberts. I should have pointed that out that that was a threat. All right, another him to Turok. Looks like there are three cards left in David's hand. And, um, Four cards in reads. Force pitching sigh. So whatever that last card in hand is needs to be protected. Delighted halfling. Or Cam Man says, I love casting him to Turok. So do I. I'm with you on that. Okay, Odawara, play it. Make another Odawara. Thought monitor, okay. Mox Opal, trigger. I think there was a missed trigger on Patrick from Thought Monitor. Thought cast, draw two. Swinging for four, read down to 13. So is it six or a Excavator? Yeah. Yeah. Excavator comes in. That allows Reed to play a Wasteland from the Graveyard, which is relevant. Blows up Seat of the Synod. I'll bolt the Thought Monitor. Yeah. Thought Monitor gets bolted. The Patchwork Automaton has no evasion abilities, but is a 4-4 now that 
does eventually need to be dealt with. Reed has enough mana to like fatal push it, pay ward at this point. Light Confidant, thank you for the gift sub. That's eight now on the channel. I appreciate that. We all appreciate it. Kappa Cannoneer resolving here is huge. I think Kappa Cannoneer just seared, sealed the deal. I don't see how Reed wins this game. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ancient Tomb is wasted. Yeah. All right, play a Lotus Petal, two triggers. Kappa and Patchwork are pretty big. Patchwork's a 6-6. Six, six. Kappa's also a 6-6. Six, six. Only Kappa attacking this time, though, because Tarmogoyf is a 6-7. How does Reed beat Kappa here? Uh, I'm gonna bounce the. Has enough mana to pay Ward with one more land, uh, which we know they have from the graveyard with Wasteland. It's possible that David wouldn't make the Kappa unblockable next turn. All right, attacking with Tarmogoyf. Um, oh, not 13, sorry, I didn't 11. take the two. Play this. Play a Goyf. Wasteland uh, Otawara. Okay, a second Goyf and Waste Otawara. So the Goyfs are six sevens. This is... All right, enchantment. Not an artifact. Doesn't give Kappa unblockable this turn. But Urza Saga is not bad. Wasteland from the graveyard makes it look kind of embarrassing, though. <laughs> I mean, Reed basically has to use the mana to waste it. Unless Reed has a way to remove Kappa. And that would let Urza Saga live. We'll see. Is it possible Reed has like Toxic Deluge or something? Well, no, Toxic Deluge wouldn't do it here because you have to pay life. No Snowlands, no Dead of Winter's out. Go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Ignoble Hierarch. All right, Kappa swings for the kill. And game one goes to David. Reed's decklist is posted in our Discord server for anybody interested in our live chat. Go ahead and join. For anybody watching later, go find the link. Fetch, fetch down to 12. Okay. Thoughtseize Thought Thoughtseize, pretty good start to the game. Let's see what David's working with. Lotus Petal Island, Dismember, Kappa Cannoneer, Emery, Mox Opal, and, and a second Dismember, so two Dismembers. We might see Reed take Kappa here. <laughs> that, that won game one, but maybe Emery. Kappa is just really difficult to deal with. I'll make you discard Emery. All right, Emery it is. Return. 
Emery down. We'll see if that Kappa Cannoneer ends up winning David this game. I don't know the answer. But it'll be interesting to watch. Island. Collector roof could be interesting here. No collector roof. <laughs> Maybe holding up Bowmasters now as Reed. I'm sure David is aware. It does? Cool. What's the worst removal spell in all of Magic that could be in R Reed's hand right now? Okay, Bowmasters, one damage to you. Orc Army is in. Terror? <laughs> Terror is not that bad. Come on. I'll pass during your upkeep. This member taking two. All right, so Orcish Bowmasters has been dismembered. Wasteland took out Seat of the Synod. There's his bobble comes in. Here's Ancient Tomb. Is that enough for Kappa? <laughs> There's Kappa Cannoneer. Uh oh. Ouch. That's really good for David. No land drop either for Reed. Yeah, Jay Liddy calling for a ban of Kappa Cannon here. Yeah. We may have to. Yeah, no land drops. This this looks close to over. Urza's bobble being activated. Reveals collector roof. Okay, that's a little sad. Reed is down to four. That was just an attack for seven. The phone was not updated. Green Sun for zero. Reed is at four. Good games. That is the match. David gets it. Nicely done. Four and oh.